Growing Together is a community-based partnership made possible by a collaboration between the provincial government and the City of Toronto and between government and the private sector. Beyond this basic partnership, the project collaborates with a variety of other granting and service organizations through funding agreements, community networks and referrals. The project combines health promotion and early intervention strategies, allowing it to meet the multiple needs of families in the St. James Town area. A unique feature of the program is that the essential components have been clearly described, including detailed evaluation procedures. Thus, the program can be replicated and the results can be compared across Canada. To meet the complex needs of families, services are provided by a multidisciplinary team of staff from collaborating agencies. The major partnership is with the parents who give direction to the project. The mission of the Growing Together project is to enhance the emotional and social development of young children from, from birth to five years of age. There's a, a focus uh, in terms of Growing Together on the positive interactions and the positive development of children. Looking around us, it's a bit self-evident, but the density of the population is uh, incredible. It's one of the most highly populated areas in the city. We have uh, babies born here at a very high frequency rate, and we have immigrate, immigrant populations from all over the world, refugees. Aside from the immigrant population, we have a population here of um, uh, Canadians that go back in St. Jamestown for generations and generations of uh, poverty, uh, social deprivation, children that have grown up in environments of uh, drug addiction, of violence, of simple deprivation for them and their growth and development. So the cycle goes on. We know that in the first three to five years, a number of neurological and biochemical characteristics of the child are laid down and they become extremely difficult to change. And also in the first five years, the child's view of the world is formed. The cost to society without intervention can be enormous. So the significance of intervention at this time are massive. The team is characterized by a deep commitment to what they're doing, but also a, a desire to share expertise. I'm Barbara Shepherd. I'm a clinical social worker with Growing Together. Jean is our secretary, really runs the office. Rahat, for instance, is, is doing a, a women's group. Kwok is our um, research person, and he's the one who has all the answers on the computers. Claudia is setting up um, a women's club, which is going to be really exciting. Tashina is our Tamil home visitor, and Virginia is our Filipino community home visitor, and she's also involved in an awful lot of advocacy. And here's Denise, who works with highly challenged families, and uh, she's involved in the research. We're really outreaching into the community and not having... People don't have to come to us, we go to them, and that's really important. There's a community kitchen where moms can come to and, and um, the social support is really important to the moms. In the community kitchen, I have a lar I've largely an organizing role and we put together a group of people who are going to go through it and I make sure people come or I set up you know, a network so people call each other. And One of the moms from the previous community kitchen got her daycare issues sorted out and had ended up with a plan about going back to school and it took that sort of, this was a bridge to, to get her out of the house and meet other women and sort of there was a safe place she could ask about things like that. Marissa? I'm going up from Becca. Where? Oh, 
I attended HEAR programs, which is a parenting program, which I've learned a lot about not only myself, but being a mom. Denise here has been uh, an excellent help in, 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 in a lot of things with helping me with housing, helping me get into a drug program. Laura's done incredibly well. On top of which, she's also written poetry. She's done uh, therapeutic sessions and she's become very, very insightful about her life and the kind of life that she wants for her own children. Surrounding myself around my children instead of around drugs. That's a big issue. That's a main issue with me. I was alone with, at home and I don't have any family here. So it was really great to have those home visits and uh, sometimes even like I had a once a week home visit. He was sick or I couldn't go out or what. There were a few times that Karen came on her own time to just to help me out for a few minutes and I found that really, really great. And Tina's also been very helpful to the project because um, she's given us back a lot. She's become involved on our advisory committee, which is wonderful. Well, I, I just, I have found it so helpful, so I thought that that's at least I can do. <laughs> Again, it's the partnerships that, that we're having and working together. This is like a, a family, uh, even the, the people who are professionals and paraprofessionals, we're a family here and um, we're able to join our resources and offer the best to these families. We don't want to be professionals uh, looking down on people, we want to be working together with the community. And I, I think with all the activities we're, we're involved in, we want to have the community involved in, in giving us advice and driving the program to where they want the program to be, to meet their needs, not our needs.